Let's take a look at the number of valence electrons for vanadium, the transition metal vanadium. So it's useful when we look at the periodic table here. Often we think of group one here. All of these have one valence electron. Group two have two valence electrons. But then we skip the transition metals because they're a little bit more complicated. And then we go across the table. So that's a general trend that's useful that doesn't really work for transition metals. If we use this definition here, a valence electron for a transition metal, it's defined as the electron that's outside the noble gas core. So if we write the electron configuration for vanadium and we look at its noble gas core, that should tell us the number of valence electrons. So let's do that. Here's the electron configuration for vanadium. And if we look right here, we have 10, 18. That's this argon right here. So the noble gas core would be right here and the 4s2 3d3 that would be outside the noble gas core let's rewrite this that way so this is the same configuration we've just put everything the noble gas core is represented by argon those first 18 electrons so based on our definition the number of valence electrons for vanadium those are the electrons outside the noble gas core and that would be right here so we would have five total valence electrons for vanadium that kind of makes sense if vanadium has these five valence electrons, it wouldn't necessarily have to use all of them in bonding. So we could have something like VCl2, this vanadium 2 chloride, where we're using two valence electrons to bond. Or we could have something like VO2, where we use four valence electrons. So it's tempting to say that we only have two valence electrons because of the 4s2, but based on our definition, we would use all of these valence electrons outside the noble gas core, and we do see compounds that use more than two valence electrons. This is Dr. B with the number of valence electrons for the transition metal vanadium. Thanks for watching.